and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Here we are in a box. We're in a prismarine sea lantern box thingy majiggy. Yes, and uh, here we go, and we're going to play a little single player map. It's called the Altars of Pandora. Actually, it's a uh, single player or multiplayer. We're going to play it in single player, though. It's uh, 1.8, and it is by the guy by the name of that one mate. Uh, so we're going to give it a go. I think it has something to do with sacrificing different things at altars in order to advance or something like that. I'm not really sure. I just looked at it a little bit. It looked interesting. And I figured we'd give it a go. So uh, let's see here. Welcome to the Altars of Pandora Survival by that 1M. This map is meant to be played on Minecraft 1.8. Works for both single player and multiplayer and should be played on survival mode, of course. All additional info can be found once the map begins. Click the button to start the map. Let me check and make sure. No. Uh, yeah, we'll go with normal, I guess. Normal sounds fun. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing started. See what's going on here. My game mode has been updated. I'm on an island. There's a thing here. Uh, we got a tree. There's things up there there's things over there things it's a bunch of islands okay we've got a bunch of little islands let's see what's in the chest here welcome welcome rules sacrifices tips and challenges let's okay let's go ahead and give these a quick read welcome welcome to the altars of pandora survival this map is centered on the theme of making sacrifices to various altars across the different islands and dungeons as a reward for these pandora will aid you in your quest which will ultimately culve in a cultivate in a battle with all of the bosses in vanilla minecraft while conquering two custom dungeons along the way each sacrifice should be placed on the centerpieces of the various prismarine altars before you begin your quest please read through all books provided as these will give you a sense of what's going on. Without these, the map is literally impossible. Good luck. Warning. All blocks once sacrificed will no longer be retrievable. Use them as much as you desire before the sacrifice. Okay. Got it. Rules. Play on survival mode at all times. Stay on normal or higher. Don't use any mods that affect gameplay. Don't use the slash set world spawn commands as this breaks the map. Before spawning in items and cheating, try checking out the tips book. Avoid exploiting any animals that have a 0.01% chance of spawning before you're being rewarded with them. Don't go to the nether through a portal. Okie dokie. Simple enough. Uh, sacrifices. Not necessarily to be done. Okay, these are all the... I guess this is the spawn altar. So, yeah, these are all the sacrifices we're going to have to do. Uh, a beacon? Okay, we'll see where that takes us. Okay, well, so uh, uh, what was the first one? Not necessarily to be done. Spawn altar, polished diorite. Okay, I'm sure we can figure out how to do some polished diorite. <laughs> Should be easy enough. Tips: struggling with food. Try completing the first sacrificial, first sacrifice. Lacking an item, try completing all presently possible sacrifices. One my blah 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 blah. You know the name of the game, Try Mining. I've already read these in a .txt file that is included with the map. And there are also a list of challenges. Uh, they're just like craft a leather tunic, make a furnace, that kind of stuff. I don't know that I'll be doing that. Um, I'm just going to play the main, main game, I think, would be what I want to do. So we got some sunflowers and we have a tree. So... I guess the best thing to do would be to start seeing if we can get a sapling. Apparently we have to get a piece of polished diorite, which means I need to dig down. And if I don't get a sapling here, I might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, sapling? Priest, priest, chaperone, chaperone, priest. Oh, there's one up there. Please don't fall off the edge. Gimme, get my belly. Got it. Okay, there we go. We have got the first. Oh, we got two saplings. Good, good. Let me put these away right now before I fall off a cliff and die. So yeah, um, 
hopefully the first episode will consist of me uh, at least completing this first altar. Um, I'm these beginning ones. I'm hoping they're going to be fairly simple, and I will have the opportunity to try to do like one an episode or something. And then later on, when they get a little bit more complicated, I'll try. We'll just go with the flow once it gets to that point. So we'll see where it goes from here. Um, okay, got some wood. It's a good thing. Got to have the wood, right? Um, let's uh, block lag on single player. That makes sense. I'm guessing we have to get some diorite, which is right there. And there's some stone. Okay, there's two pieces. There's uh, there's some andesite. There's three pieces of diorite. And there's some more stone. Some more andesite. More andesite. And there's the... Ooh, that one is... Are these all on the ground like that? Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Well, anyways, we will make a pickaxe or a crafting. Well, actually, we need to plant one of these sharp rings. Put them right there as that works for me. Uh, taking inventory. Awesome. Uh, all right, we got a crafting bench. And let's go ahead and put that down. Do one of these numbers, and we need to make some sticks and a pickaxe to get this thing rolling. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this piece of stone out first. To, okay, all right. Uh huh. One, two, three. Give it. Got it. Four. Okay. Awesome. Um, on top of that, we're going to dig out a couple more pieces of stone so we can make some stone tools. Uh, hopefully I can get enough for like... Oh, what a surprise. It's raining. Got it. Uh, I have the feeling that this over here is going to lead to the outside. So let's hopefully catch this piece. Oh no. Why am I lagging? I don't know. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces here. Uh, let's see. What do we do? It's nighttime and it's raining. And this, I'm guessing this leads down to the bottom. No, there's a piece of iron down here. Awesome. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and do this and this. I know one of these pieces, like something like this piece of iron is going to troll me and it's going to be like, it's going to fall out of the world or something. So hopefully we'll be able to get that. I really want to get as much stone as I can. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There we go. There we go. Uh huh. There we go. Okay, that takes care of that. Awesome. Um, let's go ahead back up here, and we'll make uh, some more sticks because we want to make a pickaxe out of stone so we can attempt to get this piece of iron, and we also want to make a sword so we can defend ourselves from all the baddies that are not here at the present time. Let's get a little organized here. Um, put this pickaxe over here. Okay. Oh, there's things spawning all around me. Ooh. So, yeah, I'm just kind of, while I was off camera, I didn't figure everybody would want to watch me dig, so uh, I dug a little bit, 
and uh, end up getting nine cobblestone found three iron ore got 13 of the diorite four andesite and some dirt left over uh, dug out and got as much as I could from down here and made it so I can't walk off the edge once I get down to the bottom I <laughs> uh, also planted both my saplings I think I'm gonna throw a little dirt around here um, that way Mr. Tree doesn't I wonder if I'm gonna need these for anything uh, I don't know pick it up thank you okay there we go whoa didn't mean to do that why what is going on with this map it's weird okay there we go so now at this point boys and girls I have made a little way to get to this uh, sacrificial altar thing um, the next area that's in the book, the second area is the taiga biome, so I think we're going to go that way next. But, before I can do that, I kind of need some more supplies to get there. So, I think what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and cut it here and uh, wait for the trees to grow, and then I'll be right back with you whenever we have some more wood Hopefully that'll be soon because I hate waiting for trees to grow. But anyways, uh, for now I'm just going to kind of AFK here and wait for some wood, some trees to grow so I can get some wood. And then we'll make the sacrifice to the altar and call it good. Alright, alright. I'll see you in a bit. Okay everybody, welcome back. And I've been sitting here watching a little sports center AFK in. Uh, waiting for these trees to grow, but it's just now starting to turn light again, and it's been raining for like freaking 30 days and 30 nights or something. It, it's just, it's not stopping. So, uh, I think what we're going to do to finish off this episode is I'm going to go ahead and place this diorite block um, and see what kind of reward we get. And between episodes, I'll stand here in AFK a little bit and see what, what, uh, what I can get as far as supplies go. So, uh, let's go ahead and finish this off. Let's go ahead and uh, place that. Uh huh. Um. Okay. Hello. Uh, is something supposed to happen now? Oh, Jesus, Wiz! Oh. Oh. That scared the sh crap out of me. Excuse my language. So we got a pumpkin and we got a seed. Assuming that's wheat. So, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and gather some supplies and get some stuff rocking and rolling. I'm wondering if there's supposed to be more seeds here, but I had this dug out and that didn't happen. But either way, that's okay. Um, I'll get it figured out between episodes, so I'll try to grow some uh, grow some crops and get some wood and get prepared, and we'll venture over to the Taiga Island in the next episode. And that's what we will do. So, thank you for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoyed this, please leave me a like. It helps me out tremendously. If you really enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.